Hey guys, it's Super Review Show here. <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little sick. Sorry about that. Um, this is the Flash season two season review. Like what happened over the season, how it progresses, and what it'll ultimately lead to season three. So I didn't do individual episodes. I, I think I went over this when I reviewed season one. But season two, basically, it's we're just gonna recap what happened and uh, and then we'll talk about the se season finale of uh, season two. So here we go. So basically. You know, season two really did, c coming off season one, season one was great, but season two got even better. You, you start off with, like, uh, like the season one, like, cliffhanger type thing, you know? And and Barry, uh, throughout the season, you start to develop that Barry is getting faster and faster and faster. He's just getting more and more quick throughout throughout Central City. And he's learning new powers as well. Throughout the, se this, throughout the season two, new villains arise, some Earth 2 people. Show up like obviously the Harrison Walls from Earth Two and Jesse show up. They come back, um, and um, we have we we meet who uh, we meet them. And at first it's like you gotta be kidding me, this is crazy. And basically you have uh, the Flash. Um, you know like he's fighting up Zoom. So you don't you don't really know who Zoom is until like the the second or third episode in. Like not like not who Jay Garrick is you, but like you don't really know meet Zoom until then. So that's pretty much with the zoom and the zoom thing plays out back and forth and it was on and off too it was more like had one of a few episodes with with the with the green arrow a few episodes were weren't with the green arrow they actually introduced legends legends of tomorrow in a really cool way via the flash and <clears throat> the flash and arrow crossover episode early on i think it was back in like november december when arrow and flash crossed over again that way they could take down this guy vandal savage and uh, therefore, the Legends of Tomorrow with Hawk Girl and all of them showed up. So uh, th that was a really cool crossover episode between the two uh, the two shows. Um, and with Supergirl, I'm sure there's gonna be even more crossovers. So we'll have to wait and see about that, though. I'm pretty sure there will, though. Um, what else? So basically, you had that, and also the, the they really did step up their game as far as season two goes with visual effects. Uh, I, I, for those of you remember the episode with uh, King Shark or Killer Shark or whatever his name is, he was a he was. Crazy. He, he he believe it or not, he was a fully CGI character. And that's a bit of a bigger budget for this show. But in the long run it paid off. It looked really it, you could tell like a little bit of it's not the best, but you could still tell that it was still a good like, you know it was still a good um show. A, a, a good plot point in the show. Um and a lot, I like I really like how they put a lot of the Earth two stuff on Earth One. I think the I think the exp the explanation of Earth One and Earth Two throughout this throughout the season was great. Uh, with the uh, the episode when they the episode where they went over to Earth Two that was really cool, and uh, how they have to stop Zoom well fight off Zoom over there and then get Jesse out of there and that was a great season. And also the arcs the se the arcs throughout the season were great. The one with Wally and how he came in here, uh, the one with um, the, the 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 doppelganger of uh, Caitlin with Killer Frost. She was a great angle for the season. Um, look, this... Uh, I'm going to get to the season finale in a sec, but on, I wanna, another thing I want to touch on is his dad. Even though his dad did pass in, in the, in the season, season finale, he, um, he... It was, it was kind of like, you know... It, it, they didn't have to do it, but they did it anyways. It was like, they don't have to kill him off, but they did, and it's alright. Um, so basically, that that was that, and also there was a, a lot of great other funny moments. There's a, there's a lot more humor in this. It got a little darker throughout the show, especially the parts with the zoom and his, his vibrating hand cutting through people. You know, like all that stuff was just it was great. It was, don't get me wrong, it was the whole season was a be much better season than season one, and season one was great. Don't get me wrong, but season two just stepped up the game a little more, kept it going. Now let's see though, because let's I'm not gonna lie, season three. I'm, I'm gonna get to this door. I'm getting to the season, season finale in a sec. Arrow season three started off great, but then it took a little bit of a dip for me, and now I'm on season four, and it's not doing as good as I liked it before. And I don't want that to be the case with the Flash, because the Flash is a lot more has a lot more viewers and a lot more of a fan base than Arrow does. If you look at the total million millions of viewers, about five million people watched this entire season of Flash, and about three or th Two or three million watched this season, this past season of Arrow, so that just shows the difference um, right there. So I think Arrow is losing some people, while 
it may be it's may, it has its base, but I'm not sure if the base is as strong as it used to be. Just a little side note. But uh, yeah, okay. Now we're gonna get to the season finale. Holy crap! That season finale was awesome. Don't get me wrong. That season finale was great. Uh, even though it's the very sad day that his dad did pass, and. You know, he had all this stuff, like, this problems, and he had to race Zoom at the, like, the last minute. And all, along the way, we find out who Jay Garrick is really, he stole that name from the real Jay Garrick. And yeah, so it's just stuff like that. And basically, it was just, it was really nice to see. And also, I'm not going to I forgot to mention this. Uh, the Supergirl Flash crossover that happened on Supergirl, not on, on the Flash, but Super, uh, but during, during Barry's dimensional jumps, he actually jumped over to Supergirl's Earth. That's how they opened up Earth three to Earth one. So that's it's it's crazy how they did that. Um, I really like how they did that. Don't get me wrong. And now, but back to the season finale. This it, it was very interesting. They, they revealed a lot of stuff, but they also set up a lot more too. They, the Jay Garrick, uh, um, excuse me, um, his dad obviously passed, and then eventually we find out who the man in that mask is because when we the moment we saw Earth two, he just could not stop knocking on the window. But now we, we realize that, oh my god, at the very end, he's like, that's Jay Garrick, the Flash from my Earth. I stole his, I stole his, his name, I became the Flash, I, just, I decided to be bad, and there you go. That's how they did that. That was very, a good twist, a small plot twist, it was great. Um, you know, doing all this stuff, uh, taking Wally and stuff, that was a great season finale, I'm not going to lie. Absolutely great. But another thing I want to, the last thing I want to touch on is that the the ending of the season finale, with after you realize that Harrison Wells goes back to, goes back to Earth Two with Jesse, Wally is going to take some time to himself. Barry finally gets the girl of his dreams in, with Iris, and you also have you know a lot everything's coming to like a, a seasonal close. But then Barry, out of all the things that he could have he, he does, he goes back in time, which we learned how to do this season. If I'm not mistaken, I believe. He goes back in time, and he goes back to when his mother was first sta uh, killed with, re with reverse flesh. And he saves his mother. And that's where the season ends. We, we don't, he saves her, and we don't know what happens after that. Did he, did, does he even become the Flash? Did all this timeline stuff get erased? We have no idea. They, the, the producers, Greg Berlanti, and um, his partner, I forget his name, they really set us up for a crazy season three. Um, I just don't know how it's gonna play out. I mean, I know a lot. I don't know enough though, apparently, because this is this really set me off on the on the, the on the side wire here. I don't know, but uh, but yeah. So that is the season two recap, basically, of the Flash season two. What were some of your favorite moments throughout season two? Did, a lot of the stuff that I mentioned. Killer Shark was great. Having um um. Uh, Diggle on the other one episode. Like, what did you guys think of? Jump in the comment section below. Let me know what were some of your favorite memories from season two, and what what can you think about for season three that you could see come to fruition. So let me know what you guys think. But for all your Flash season reviews, keep it locked on the Super Review Show. I'll see you later.